Alright guys, this is just a quick opening to let you know who I am and what I'm here for. My name is William, and I just made this quick presentation so you guys know I have experience and that I have the ability to lose weight with fasting. So I always was heavy, I slowly fasted over 7 months, got to this point on the right, and then from there to having abs, it took me another 2 months. And I was getting bored, I wanted to fast, I wanted to make a video to help everyone out. So I intentionally put on uh, 30 pounds, about 15 kilograms. That's the picture on the right. I basically look like that now. And I'm going back to the picture on the left in hopefully 20 days. So this is just who I am. You guys can see I got great results and I know what I'm talking about. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. All right guys, day three. Today, I had a lot of interesting uh, symptoms and feelings. So please stick around for the after part where I discuss that, okay? You can see my body's changing quite a bit, but the numbers, not so much. Okay? As you can tell from my foot, we are on day three, and I'm at 84.04 kilograms, about 185 pounds. All right, guys, it's day three, and there's actually a lot to say today, so please stick around. I've been feeling a lot of symptoms and side effects that you will too. So let's uh, learn together and see what it is. All right, guys, so my weight today was 84.12 kilograms, which is 185 pounds. And that means my day-to-day -day loss, meaning from yesterday, was half a kilogram or 1.1 pounds. And that's going to be about the average. It might actually get less than that soon. All right, my total loss so far has been 5.9 kilograms, and that is 13 pounds. Hey guys, my waist and hips, interesting today, they lost zero, zero centimeters here, zero centimeters here, nothing. I lost nothing at all, okay? Uh, but you can see like my stomach's kind of shrinking and looking better. I nearly have abs again. And uh, exercise, I didn't really do exercise, just walked around the pool a bit. Uh, my water, uh, I had about 700 mLs of this, uh, Fiji water, really good. Usually I just drink tap water, but I've been trying to be better about my water, especially when I fast. All right, hunger, zero out of zero. Desire to eat, zero out of zero. Nothing, guys, I'm eating my body fat. And my weakness, I would call it a three out of 10 today. If I hadn't fasted as much as I have in the past, I would think it was a 10 out of 10. So guys, if you're feeling some slight discomfort on day three, realize it's not that bad, okay? I'd call it a three out of 10. I was actually having some like muscle twinges, like my arms kept like kind of uh, activating on their own. And that always means you're low on sodium. Um, so. Get some salt in your water, okay? I did that. I added uh, two tablespoons, like a small spoon of, of salt into this, and I just drank it. I don't like the taste, but it made me feel a lot better. All right, uh, my sleep last night wasn't fantastic. It was 2 a.m. to 9.30 a.m., so about seven and a half hours. I think tonight I'm going to have a problem sleeping because I'm feeling a bit of anxiety. This is from the stress, the cortisol of fasting. Um, let's see, my mood was good for work. I was a little bit cranky, a little bit of zombie mode. And what I call like a stupid mode. Whenever I'm trying to use my phone, like I need to like think like, uh, what, what app am I going to? And like for me, I'm a really fast thinker, so that's uh, quite a bit, big difference. And guys, this is all just day three stuff. Day three is a really interesting day, and most people never make it past this point. So you and I should, okay? I've got two days of the wor two uh, words of the day I want to discuss with you, okay? Uh, we've got uh, glycogen, glycogen. Glycogen is the stored sugar in your muscles. So guys, your muscles hold about 500 grams, about one pound, half a kilogram of uh, energy, essentially, essentially sugar. Your liver holds about 200 grams. Your muscles, all the muscles in your body, hold about 500 grams. So guys, the first day of fasting, you use the food in your stomach, what you ate that day and yesterday. Day two is basically you're sucking all the glycogen out of your muscles. So guys, tomorrow you're going to notice I'm a lot more flat. My muscles are not going to be full at all tomorrow um, because the glycogen is being depleted. Glycogen depletion. All right, the second word we need to discuss here is uh, electrolytes. Electrolytes. And that basically means um, sodium and potassium. It's what allows the nerves and synopses in your brain and body to connect. If you have no um, electrolytes, your body essentially cannot communicate with itself and you will die. So guys, that's why a lot of people, me included, um, are not a big fan of water only fasting. Put some salt in your water. Get some potassium, okay? All right, uh, what else? So guys, when I woke up today, I felt a really sore jaw. And this is kind of a typical day three thing for me. 
Uh, I think it's because you're not eating a lot. So your muscles are kind of just like underused and sore. Like if you, for example, if you wear a cast for like a few months, your muscles will be smaller and just like a little bit sore. That's what happens with your jaw. You will feel some mouth and jaw pain, potentially gum pain, like on your gums. Okay. Uh, what else? And oh, guys, uh, day three, another interesting thing about day three is the day three bathroom visit. For me, every time I go and do a fast on the day three, I end up using the bathroom, uh, number two. And that's just interesting. It's always day three. Uh, let me know what you guys do with your fasts. And what else? Oh, guys, I consider 72 hours to be real fasting. Anything less than 72 hours is fantastic. It's healthy. But after 72 hours, you are truly empty. This is my real starting weight, essentially. This is my real starting body. Okay. So day three, you are empty. And guys, let me tell you a little bit about body fat. Um, one little coffee cup is 3,500 approximately calories. So a kilogram is about two of these. So guys, I call this the hand test, the grab test. Like people are like, oh, I don't have energy for fasting. It's like, okay, look at me. Grab a handful of fat. Here's a day. Here's a day. Two days. Two days. A week. Okay, guys? And just all the fat you've got on your body... This is fuel. This is what evolution, this is what nature made us to do. Uh, we kill a deer, we eat that deer, we get too many calories. We put them on as body fat because maybe the next day we're not going to catch that deer. And a lot of people say fasting will make you lose muscle. Okay, caveman times. You don't catch a deer for three or four days. You're hungry. Your body's going to eat your bicep and eat your quadriceps. Then you can't catch the deer again. That's a negative feedback response. We would not be here today if our body ate muscle instead of fat. Guys, when you are fasting, you are consuming like 95% body fat. There is a small amount of muscle because it requires sugar for your brain, and that's called uh, glyconeogenesis. But if you want to learn all that, go watch Thomas DeLore or Jason Fung. I've watched all their videos and I understand them, but I don't want to get that deep into fasting. Anyways, guys, I think that's everything to say today. Um, and you might notice I'm wearing more jewelry. It's because... This is not real science, by the way. This is pseudoscience. Uh, I feel like um, natural elements like uh, turquoise or pearls just like kind of help you mellow out and relax. Again, not real science, but it's what I'm doing today. Anyways, guys, my name is William. Uh, this is my 21 day or until I get abs fasting journey. I hope you watch till the end. If you did, comment below. And guys, I provide free help for everyone. Comment if you want help. Or if you're a private person, email me. My email will be in the description. Everything is free, okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and let's do this together, okay? Turn this into abs.